हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न अबाउट ऑस्टियोकॉन्ड्रोमास so what is this osteochondroma so this is also a cartilage forming tumor so the origin cell of origin is cartilage in osteochondroma this is also a benign lesion which is actually a developmental malformation which you can see here this osteochondroma mainly occurs in the metaphysis okay so this osteochondroma mainly occurs in the metaphysis especially it occurs in the distal femur mostly it occurs in the distal femur okay right it occurs in the distal femur followed by tibia here in the metaphysis it is of two types one it can be either sessile type or second we have pedunculated type here there is a cartilaginous overgrowth occurs and this cartilaginous overgrowth has surrounded by a cartilaginous cap okay there will be a cartilage in a scap and there will be growth of the cartilage okay now the size of the cartilage is usually less than 2 cm in size next sometimes this how do you see this this enchondromatosis is actually on x ray you cannot see this cartilage right you will see some radio lucent uh, area which can be seen okay one number 2 number 2 one more important thing is Uh, this osteochondroma uh, slowly it actually the osteochondroma progresses slowly and at certain point the patient may develop pain in the beginning there is pain, it is a painless lesion in the beginning osteochondroma is a painless lesion but sometimes it becomes painful lesion now what are the causes or what are the reasons for osteochondroma to convert itself from painless lesion to painful lesion one it can be due to malignancy or whenever there is pathological fractures which are occurring in the bone that can also increase the um, pain sometimes it there can be nerve compression resulting in pain or if there is bursitis or aneurysms okay all these will increase the pain of the osteochondroma now the osteochondroma there is a disease named disease which is called as trevor disease what is trevor disease trevor disease is actually an intra articular epiphyseal osteochondroma if the osteochondroma is inside the articular cartilage it is an intra articular epiphyseal osteochondroma is called as trevor disease okay it is inside the articular cartilage now one more important thing is this osteochondroma has a cartilaginous cap right so histologically you will see presence of cartilaginous tissue is seen in the histology when we do biopsy now how are you going to treat it one important thing is if the patient has no symptoms then there is nothing you can do you should just wait and watch if the patient is asymptomatic but if the patient has symptoms then you can do uh, excise this growth this growth can be excised So this is about osteochondroma. Thank you. Thank you and thank you for watching.